hi guys so if you have seen the first video of the end of the year haul this is part two hopefully we can wrap everything up here because believe me i have not showed you everything i don't intend to show you everything i just want to share with you guys some of the stuff that i'll be using to create looks and focus on and that being said thank you child that being said i wanted to um share with you some of the palettes i have the things i picked up this way you know you all are not really surprised and some of the stuff that i have here i've already been using and let's get into the haul video <laughs> so on my face today i used the opposites attract palette from elf cosmetics isaac's face cosmetics it is what i used to create my eye look today i have on a foundation from um the matte foundation from makeup forever i couldn't find the name anyway i'm liking this palette um this was gifted to me though if you saw the other video you'll know all about that but i am loving this palette in conjunction with using that palette i had picked up this profusion contour palette from target and i think this was it was one of the holiday sets but this one is a hot mess y'all look at that i don't recommend this highlighter in this palette i'm actually going to see if i can try to pop it out of there but I did use the middle shade to contour and those give good color payoff. I like them. So yes, but this is a dud. This, it, it's messy. It's really chunky, really messy. It's all over the palette and I'm gonna dig that out and be done with that shade and just use the parts of the palette I like. Okay, from Walgreens. I paid $2.50. No, I think these were not this week's 50% off, but be just before the holidays, I think. They had buy one, get one 50% off. So I got these two Profusion palettes from Walgreens for like $7. I should have waited because I would have paid $2.50 had I known like the day after Christmas they were going to do a 50% off sale, but whatever these are the colors in the basic palette the basic palette and it's from profusion and as i said if you've seen the other video just now i have been liking the profusion brand when it comes to these eyeshadows i find the pigmentation to be on point you do get a fair amount of shadow in there and it's the shades that everyone is liking. They're warm tone. They are two cool tone palettes as well, but these are really good. So I've been liking those. This is the metal palette. It looks a bit dreary, but I bought it because it had that shade right there. I have not been swatching stuff because the other video was just, it's a lot of stuff and I don't wanna be swatching, but this is just a regular, finger swatch guys from the metal palette and that's what the color payoff is looking like let me get into that color and the shade that bronzy looking one and there you see that is beautiful so i think for what it's worth if you're a beauty on a budget and or you just love makeup and you want to play with stuff that's affordable this this brand has been doing its thing um, I think on their website they do offer um, free shipping with $25 purchase so yes um, I was speaking on the Huda Beauty palette in the other video briefly and ever since this debuted I wanted it and I just got it and I'm glad I waited and I didn't pay the full price because I think the last four palettes that I purchased, I waited until there was a sale and I got it for the 20% off. And this one was actually on sale for $19. I missed it Black Friday, but it came back around. But this time it was a sweeter deal because the palette ended up being like $15 and change because 
it was 19 on sale and then an extra 20% off sale. So Sephora has been doing their thing. Ulta has been doing their thing entire holidays. So I just grabbed all the things that I really wanted and never purchased. So this is good. Um, so now I have like seven of these. I think I want the blue one and that's gonna be it. One more, the blue one. Um, the Sapphire, I think it is. That's the one. Anyway, um, moving on. From Walgreens. <laughs> I have an iPhone, but I have been really telling myself I don't need and I'm not going to buy the, I, the earbuds because I'm afraid to invest that type of money in that earbud and I don't use it because they tend to hurt my ears. The My ear hole is very tiny okay and even with the bluetooth around my neck i have to put on the very tiny the smallest rubber on there just so that i can use them and i can't keep them in for too long because again my ear hurts but anyway while at walgreens just now shopping this is the last part guys we're coming down to the wire this i saw this it's called um let's see if i find the box in here it's a bluetooth speaker and it's called sound pods i hip this and the store manager actually the store manager actually gave it to me for half off it was twenty dollars but actually i got a little more than half off of it and i used some points so out of pocket i paid four dollars for these and i'm gonna charge them of course but it comes with the its own pod and they look ginormous as heck but yeah they look like that but you get two pieces of course and uh, yeah i'm gonna definitely charge these and i'll come back and give you a review on these you guys let me turn the button off because I, I haven't charged it yet all right so also from walgreens i saw the number seven set this was an eight dollar set for holidays um it's a moisturizer with a uh, how do you say serum inside as well so for four dollars i wanted to try it i said okay i'll try it for the four dollars eh, it is what it is right so i'm trying to peel it open so i can show y'all what's in the box but yeah so these two tiny items are in there this is a serum and it does say that it's for sensitive skin i do have sensitive acne prone skin and the, my reason for picking up the day cream is that it has SPF 30, this one. And I am currently using the Paula's Choice stuff on my face. So it doesn't have SPF in it, but I wanted to have something with SPF, so I grabbed this. So for four bucks, we'll see what they do. Okay, sorry about the noise. Um, remember I talked about these. If you saw my previous video, yes, I purchased another one. This one I used this morning to do my face and I picked it back up. It, it was kind of cute. It's very soft and it is kind of cute. Just bounce it around on your face, like follow the bouncing ball. <laughs> I, I used this just to make my, create my face just a few minutes ago. So it's my germs, it's my bacteria. I got me. <laughs> so anyway, um, I picked it back up because it's 250. There were $5 during the holidays and it's two dollars and fifty cents as well as this is 250 and these are 250 so this is the eco tools one so yeah run to walgreens don't walk run and grab the 50 percent off sales if you want to catch those okay next thing i got i picked up a brush set i already have this set i purchased this set before i think i showed you guys in a haul video i'm not sure but these are three new brushes in here this one this one and this one and of course we all know as i said we go through our sponges quickly or fast these tend to break down fast 
but they're very good sponges. It's $10 on sale. So I grabbed the backup and a few weeks ago, this is also in some stores still have this one guys. And um, I did put it on Snapchat. I think I also put it on um, Instagram, but these were 50% off a few weeks ago and it is back on sale. So the stores that have this for $30, they're now $15, they are half off on sale and again if you have points to redeem at Walgreens go ahead and redeem that five dollar off and then you can get your brush sets so I have two unopened real real techniques brush sets I have not opened this one or this because I just got this anyway this one I got two weeks ago but I have not opened them because I don't need to I have a few of them in front of me here I did open two sets already and I'm using those I'm loving them uh, this is one of the brushes from the set from Ulta and as you can see I've been using it I use it with um, loose powder to set my face and it does a very good job love 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 this um, this one was from last year I use this one this morning for for brush blush and you can see the difference with the handles guys this one is still soft and kind of that nars rubbery feel but this year they did that plain just a nice color but no coating on it which is a good thing one of the other reasons why i grabbed the new brushes i just love that they're aesthetically beautiful and they function and on sale i'm not gonna pass it up so that is it for my haul i'm looking around to see if i'm forgetting anything which i am um last time i did a haul i probably mentioned that i picked up the warrior palette um this is a warrior palette from juvia's i have not used it as yet but as soon as i got this one what <laughs> warrior 2 was out and then it went on sale and I do want that green tribe palette, but I might get it. I have it in my basket on the website. Last night I was playing around, but I didn't hit that button yet. I might, I might. But this is their all matte palette, the Warrior 2. And it's just a gorgeous palette, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at Zama. Yo. So I have a lot to play with. I am thankful. I am grateful. I remember a time when I didn't have, not even, <laughs> I had nothing near what I had now. And I've been enjoying my makeup and I am at the point where I started feeling overwhelmed. So what I want to speak on real quickly is that coming the next year, I won't be purchasing a lot of things. I did not purchase a lot in the last two years. I did great. Um, I was very choosy, very picky, but I think I really want to put myself on a no buy for a year and see how I do. Can I handle it? And I also want to see how much money I save doing that no buy the money i would spend on the makeup and everything else i want to put it elsewhere so that being said um you'll be seeing me using my makeup i'll probably do reviews i will come in here and share with you guys but you won't be seeing a lot of haul videos what you'll see is review you'll see me using products i'll make little clips of looks that i'm creating and that's it but don't look for those extravagant um um makeup eye makeup looks this is me i'm not into that dramatic um editorial look that you guys see i don't have time for it i'm not gonna wear it anywhere so i'm gonna keep it real i'm almost 50 so i'm gonna do the makeup the way i would wear it at my age. All right. Take care, guys. Enough love. Bye.